So I was invited by the United Kingdom to speak in the House of Lords. And after I spoke in the House of Lords, um, Baroness Annele, she is the special representative of David Cameron uh, in uh, uh, preventing sexual violence in conflict. And she invited me to come to New York to talk during the UNGA week, the General Assembly. And I talked with, uh, in a panel with uh, Baroness Annele and also with the foreign minister of Croatia, Pusic. And they, uh, we discussed about the plight of the Yazidis and the girls and um, um, how small organizations like ours should be helped to uh, build a community uh, again. And uh, eventually we got in contact with Spain and Spain was very interested because they have the presidency in, in this month for the Security Council. And they said, you can come. It's the first time we have an um, area formula meeting and you can come and explain the, uh, what is going on and what the Yazidis need. And uh, I had a very, very tough speech and I spoke at the Security Council and I condemned their failure of um, uh, being inactive when there is an ongoing genocide. And I made it very clear how they could help the Yazidis and that is to refer the case to the International Criminal Court and the case specifically the genocide against Yazidis from the 3rd of August till uh, now. And it's a failure to not act when you, after the World War II, say we, were, we are going to act. If there's ever a genocide, we will not never, and never again, it will never again happen. But it happens again, and we see a failure again. So when I first entered the Security Council, I was very, very nervous, also nervous because I had a very tough speech, and I... I I didn't know how they would receive it, but sometimes these mechanisms, they really need someone to push them and let them know what's going on in the world and what they are doing wrong or right. So I was very, very nervous and I heard other people talk um, uh, about the situation and someone else was uh, highlighting uh, uh, what ISIS is doing and how social media is working uh, to help ISIS because they're doing nothing about it. And so it was my turn finally, and then I started my speech, and I was trying to look at the ambassadors who were sitting there, especially Samantha Power, because a friend of mine has, has given me this book in America. It's called A Problem from Hell, from Samantha Power, and it says everything about genocide issues. And so Samantha Power, she wrote this book, and now she is in the Security Council, and I was amazed that reading the first couple of pages, how would, why isn't she starting the, the whole thing about this genocide against the Yazidis? Because she's the one who wrote this book. And I'm reading this and I'm thinking like, if I would write this book, I would definitely, if I was in the Security Council, definitely refer this case to the International Criminal Court. So also in my speech, I referred to this book, Genocide is a Problem from Hell. And it's very bad that the Security Council is not referring the case to the ICC. So it's, uh, I hope I made the message clear. And um, the Swedish ambassador was very positive about my speech. And a lot of them, uh, they said, sometimes we need someone like you to remember us, what we, what, why we are sitting here. And it's true. Sometimes they need it. And I hope they will, will use this. So... After my speech, I was just hoping that everyone was okay with the speech. Well, it was a t it, it was a tough speech, but it's necessary. So, yeah, and uh, I got I got a, a couple of compliments that I uh, yeah what I, about what I said. So I hope someone will uh, do something. <laughs>